So countdown to our wedding is on and making his weekend express debut, my fiance Graham. Hey everybody. <laughs> Who I'm so happy to have on the show because obviously the our favorite part of wedding planning has been the floral arrangements. Yeah. Uh, the tastings. Yeah. The, the tastings. tastings. I mean, we feel like we want to plan a wedding seven times just so that we can go to the tastings. So we are going to the source. My designer, wedding designer Tim Lundy from Distinctive Designs to show us what the wedding trends are of 2015. So Tim, come on in. I'll do it. Well, so I've been smelling in the kitchen as well. Something delicious. But here's the first trend that you're talking about. Tapas. We use tapas in a, in a wedding because we we can pass the entire meal. We can, we can do it in these small plates, and it becomes a, a series of many, many courses, from nine to 15 courses, but it's just a bite or two of each course. This is lobster pot pie, okay. and uh, it's just a pot brise crust and a puff pastry top. <laughs> so while we're tasting this, Tim, tell me what some of the um, guests say to something like this. This is about the presentation. What do they notice most about something like they this? They like the oh, look presentation at you being polite, first. putting your napkin <laughs> on Way your lap. Go, Somebody's got He's one. a Somebody's southern boy. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> All right. It's great because the, um, the it, presentation first is beautiful, but mm -hmm. then once you get that comfort taste, what do you think? I'm so glad. Yeah, I mean, it is. It's a comfort food. It's a comfort food, but with lobster, and it's just a, a nice morsel. So there's like a couple of pieces of yeah, there's a couple lobster of that, in between. Yeah. You like it? I do. That's great. Good. All right, Good. let's try the next one. What do you got? Like a grilled cheese. Yeah, it's grilled cheese. But what we do is we, we're famous for our pimento cheese. So we've put our famous white cheddar pimento into a panini. And then we've made a wonderful um, old-fashioned classic tomato soup. It's, mm. it's totally getting away from the buffet. It's, again, the comfort food. You dip your panini into the soup. You, can, you don't have to have a spoon. It's just drinkable. And it's just a wonderful, wonderful presentation. Well, how was that? Another one. <laughs> Two up. So that's sort of been his response to everything Tim makes. Oh, okay. Another thumbs up. But the big question, will he be happy with the main course? Uh, coming up in the next hour, Tim is going to show us the biggest trend for dinner at the reception, and this definitely goes beyond the buffet. So one thing we've learned, you definitely go to tastings hungry, which we have, but um, was there anything that you really wanted to be at our wedding food-wise? Well, as you know, I'm kind of a meat and potatoes guy, but, uh, but <laughs> we're doing a, a smaller wedding and we wanted to make sure that everybody feels like they're at home. Sort of like, we wanted to feel like they were at our home and that it was warm and welcoming. So Tim described this trend of family style, which I hadn't heard before, but I loved the idea. So Tim, let's bring in this sort of trend for 2015. It's the family style idea of laying things out in the middle of the table for all your guests to be able to dig into, which as an Italian, I love. This is fresh ravioli, and this, this particular ravioli is stuffed with uh, wild mushrooms, and then we do the big shavings, uh, curls of Reggiano on top. What's great about this particular style is that it is family style, and it gives the, the table, a table of eight, the uh, flexibility to enjoy the food and to have a very social experience. And they sort of chat a little bit more. That's how you described it to me that, that sold me on it. Because I, I wouldn't even think to do this. Um, and once, one, I tasted the food, but two, thought of the idea of it. It made me feel like everyone would feel more together. All right. I don't chat as much because I'm too You're busy, too busy eating. 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 <laughs> like, we like that about you. And in general, <laughs> you can't really beat me out when it comes to talking too much, huh? That is for sure. <laughs> We have taken the breast and stuffed it with the spinach, the um, Swiss cheese, and the prosciutto. And then we sa uh, saute it, and we finish it off in the oven, and it's topped with a Parmesan cream sauce. And it's just not heavy, but got that wonderful Parmesan in it with just a little bit of grated Parmesan in it. So I was always, one thing I wondered, is it bad to have chicken at your wedding? I mean, you always hear about beef and fish. Are, are your guests going to be put off by the fact that you have chicken? We do a chicken marbella, which is with olives, dried plums, and papers. I mean, so we, we really try to uh, push the envelope with chicken. It, chicken is good. It just gets a bad rap. Nobody would complain about this. Yeah. You, no. I think this is one of your favorite dishes. <laughs> Like that I've tried to yes. replicate and have failed at miserably, but. I don't uh, <laughs> okay, so so far, any favorite? Um, 
They're all very good. I'm gonna have to stick with the chicken. <laughs> I think I could put like a bucket of this chicken in front of you and you may be <laughs> occupied for a few hours. You could. Next item is on from our farm to table menu is a pepper dew. It's a wonderful, sweet, round, small pepper that's got a piquant finish. So it's got a little bit of spice on the finish. But the beauty to this is we take a local farm goat cheese that comes from uh, Cullowee, North Carolina. Awesome. Let's so, try it. Go ahead. It definitely smells good. Okay, so it's served like this. This yes. is sort of something neat during the cocktail hour. Yeah, we, the, our size. servers walk around with this particular um, olive boat, and it uh, mm. has it holds about 16 of the actual pepper dews perfectly. So. Mm. Great. It's got a great pop. Nice pop in the mouth, really. It's a great, great uh, wow look as well as taste. Another, uh, you of course are going to have a salad as a first course, but we wanted something different. We didn't want just the traditional masculine salad with a vinaigrette. So you concocted something a little interesting locally again. This is our petite kale salad uh, with a grilled uh, zucchini collar. It's topped with a crumbled gorgonzola, and then we make a fresh wall, a white balsamic dressing to drizzle over it. Um, very fresh, very healthy, but quite tasty. I have to wonder, though, what do I do if I have guests, like someone who absolutely does not like kale or blue cheese? I mean, those are two things that are pretty distinctive. Well, the great thing about this dish is the petite kale is not as strong a flavor as old, regular kale. It's very light. Um, it has a little bit of a pepper finish, but not a strong uh, finish. And uh, the gorgonzola, the beauty to gorgonzola is that it's lighter than a regular blue. Uh, not, not as strong as a, a true uh, Roquefort or a, a Danish blue. The big question, whether or not it sells him. Two things since we started dating that I have not liked. <laughs> strong cheeses and kale. Which I learned after I made favorites. him kale salad. <laughs> but, uh, but, but Tim wins again. Uh-oh. So yeah, I don't, don't want to cause any that issues is between you and Lynn. I now, well, like, now, I now like kale and gorgonzola. I'm going to hold you to that. Okay. I'm going to make a petite, petite kale. kale. Petite yes. kale. There you go. <laughs> so we have spanned the menu, tried everything, but of course, as someone who has a sweet tooth, dessert was something really important to us. So we have some great trends for wedding desserts going way beyond just the traditional wedding cake. And that is straight ahead. If you're doing a rustic wedding, you, you don't have to do um, a wedding cake. It can be, you know, the big craze for the last two or three years has been the, the cupcakes and mm -hmm. doing a cupcake tree. We did that's want to a, do that. Uh, it's, and that's become an actual little bit passe at this point as well. But the great thing for one of the things that we do, since we're sort of on, the, on the side of the In mountain, the mountain, we do a, a beautiful uh, homemade cobbler and we bake it actually right into the half pint mason jars. And I don't know, it sort of seems like it makes it feel like home cooking again. Exactly. It makes it feel like you made this in your kitchen at home. Exactly. Let's try it. <laughs> what is the response from guests? Because oh, it's different. It is different. Um, but it's, it's the, that, again, going back to that comfort flavor, it's that beautiful, uh, you know, home-baked cobbler flavor. You could fill up a paint jar with it. <laughs> 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 We can put mm. lids on it. Without the ice cream, we can, you can actually uh, bake it that way, put a lid on it, put a ribbon around it, and actually give it away as a party favor as the guests leave. And that was another thing. There is a woman, Biggie Webb, up in North Carolina as well, that does something called Bunny Bites. And his favorite thing is carrot cake. And this is sort of the same trend. It's sort of a, a flower pot with the carrot cake inside. And so it's a neat presentation. Carrot cake was your favorite thing, so you want to try this? Let's give it a shot. <laughs> And the sugar headache has already begun. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so these kinds of different things, do you feel like you have to reinvent? Every year you're finding different ways to reinvent. We're always looking for new ideas, but we also can, can take some old uh, ideas and just serve them up with a twist. What do you think? Well, I'm happy to be a part of that trend. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to participate in trend making. <laughs> the great thing about clients like you, Graham, is that we always know when we're doing the right thing. You appreciate the food. <laughs> We're happily so fed. Smiling like <laughs> <laughs> so that's what's sort of been exciting for us is to find different ways to incorporate these trends. And Tim Lundy from Distinctive Designs, thank you for the ideas. Thank you. And we will, of course, post them on our website at hlntv.com slash weekend express. And now you know how fun TV is. You get fed all the time, right? It, it is fun. <laughs> <laughs> You'll come back for more. <laughs> Thanks so much, Tim.